everyone, welcome back to the walkthrough, are you ready? For what basically amounts to sand everywhere? Probably not, but here we go. <laughs> At least the first round will be relatively easy, because I have the specialty clubs on my side, but... But after that, when we get to the antiques, I'm probably doomed. <laughs> Alright, so, at least I know on this hole I can play straight down the ice and let it roll all the way over to some patch of fairway, or even stay on the ice, as the ice doesn't really hurt anything, lie-wise, so... And that is exactly how things are gonna be. So, yeah, just look at the... See, ice there's zero-yard range, just like the fairway. Nothing behind the ball to mess up your distance control. Just a hard surface that would actually be pretty pretty tricky to hit off of in real life. But since this is a video game, we are okay. And this looks pretty good. Oh, oh! <laughs> That would have been even good for a, uh, a small hole shot, actually. Because that was right down the middle. Uh, if the pin was in, which the pin is never in when, it's, when we got the giant holes, on um, the small holes, I could have very well dropped in then. Maybe. I don't know, but anyway, part three, we can do this, we can get a hole in one, maybe, perhaps, might be, go, I'm just gonna let it roll out using the ice like I usually do, ah, it didn't roll out that much, mm, I tried, <laughs> putter, a lot of power, because they're going through rough, and birdie, Whew. Now yeah, when the slope is flat and the holes are wide, just like everything drops in at that distance no matter what. <laughs> because there's no, no wind affecting it or anything like that, so... Alright, so I'm, I'm gonna do my usual attempt to bounce the ball over the snow, because there's not much fairway to work with here. And I was close. Very close. But close does not get you on the green in two. Or does it? Uh... Well... Can I, can I slam dunk it? <laughs> that's, that's always a possibility. I don't know if that's it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try to slam dunk. Yeah! Oh, a little too hard. A little too hard. <laughs> and I will try to putt that, but I've gotta probably yank up the power levels a little bit there. There we go. There you go, because I'm hitting out of snow, which reacts a ton like sand, I would say. So, <laughs> just gotta kind of play it as I know the lie to be. At least it feels like it turns out that way. I don't, I don't know. I haven't really gotten any sort of complex measuring devices on the snow to test its viscosity compared to sand. So who knows? Who knows? It's just a fluffy material that the ball can end up in. And that's all that matters, I guess, for the calculations. <laughs> uh... At least that, that we can figure out. <laughs> Someone probably figured it out. But it's kind of hard to figure it out unless you're doing something specifically from two similar places. But I don't know if you can really compare it that easily, even with if you were to do it that way. Because you'd still have to do comparisons at probably multiple courses, too. <laughs> oh, you're telling me that's not in? Come on. Ah, ah, I just bounced over everything except for actually touching the edge of the hole. <laughs> I mean, well, I bounced over the edge of the hole, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> and this hole. This one is, like, highly paced on whether or not you are in the snow. <laughs> if you're in the snow for your second shot, it's just like you don't, you cannot make the shot to the green and make it to that upper portion where the hole is, it just doesn't seem to happen. Because the snow just cuts back too much power, but we're okay. I think. Oh wait, that's... Oh, the tree. The tree! No! Uh, I might actually have to go up a club and then do some curvature. Wait, can I actually go around that way? Yes, I can. Because that would take me to the chunkier side of the green, then. Which is a lot better. Okay, let's try that. Because I have more green to work with, then. Woo! And... 
yes, yes. <laughs> that paid off. Unlike a lot of my other experiments lately. <laughs> birdie, five on there, very steady. A birdie, a hole. Can I get ones all the way across the card? Preferably not, as I want some minus twos in there. Maybe even a minus three, obviously. Uh, a little backsman utilizing the ice, but not too much. Because I've got a nice low lofted club and. Well. Eh, well, I, I don't. I guess it's fine. <laughs> oh, my heater. My heater's been on. It's making noise in the background. No! Hold on! Hard to tell when the heater is on when you have the headphones in. So, anyway. <laughs> So I remember that the ice is uh, faster than regular green, as we learned in uh, the test with Doug. So we can just actually use less power on that shot. I actually forgot where I was while I was turning off the heater, obviously, as I aimed way off to the side. But it's okay! I remembered after a bit, readjusted, and we're good. As long as I get the birdies, we are always good, I guess. <laughs> no, 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 no! Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no! Well, hold on. Just, uh, I'll try. I'll try that. The wind is gonna be in my favor. So it, it landed exactly where the cursor was. Mysterious. I call sabotage on this. <laughs> Let's see how this goes though. There's still a chance to get another minus one. Oh no, I don't have Nick the edge of the hole! It's all commanders! Homemade course all over again! Uh, low running shot. Can it go in? Sure, it can go in, but will it go in? That's the question. Oh, shoot. Well, okay, slam dunk. That'll do. Well, there goes my minus one streak. <laughs> so that means I will have to get a minus two to stay on track, to even it out. <laughs> this could be the hole that, that I could uh, do it on, too. It's, the, it's that par file with that really long, icy section up ahead. So maybe I could use a whole bunch of bouncing to my advantage. Yeah, I'm gonna use that to my advantage for sure. Because there's, there's a lot of ways to play this hole. You either got that patch of fairway, I mean patch of ice for the lower drivers, or you've got the patch of ice to the right for the longer drivers, which you can see really down there. It can take you all the way over to... Yeah, like somewhere over in this range, uh, but anyway, uh, I've still got to execute the shot in, hopefully, hopefully. I think the only, the only way I'm going to get this to stop is if I get it in on the fly, is <laughs> I'm using a driver, and that's got next to no backspin. Oh! <laughs> there I go, and I'm actually ahead of the curve now. The birdie curve. <laughs> Woo! I went for it, and I don't regret that I went for it. If, if I hit the edge of the hole, that could have been way, way out of bounds. But nope, we are golden. And yes, I know I was touching the tree before I, uh, uh, before I took my shot there on the cursor, but it didn't matter because I knew the wind would take it away from the tree. Uh, is that going to be a problem? I didn't, didn't really realize that I would land that close to the tree. Uh, I mean, not not the tree that I missed. I mean, the tree further up the fairway. Yeah, I think that is going to be a problem. Well, I, I don't I don't know. Oh, back in the power, like will that? Uh, I think I'm going under the tree. That's why it's not actually hitting anything when I use that club. Okay, it's hitting that tree, but okay, well, that's, it's, it's an advancement, because I got the ball forward and I didn't have to hit out to the side, and shall I? Shall I? Oh, don't tell me it's going to go in. Don't tell me. Oh, it will. <laughs> yeah, it just looked like it was a pretty easy situation. I thought I would go for it. Okay, 10 under par. Success in Dido. And now we flop on over to the harder variety of things. Vintage, strong, strong, yes. Well, vintage, regular, whole, strong, strong. Alright. 
I just noticed something. Chill wind wastes? And it says cold wind wastes? Wait a second. Wait a second. How did I how did I miss that before? Was that like that the whole time? Or is it just something they overlooked in free play and they decided like maybe at first they decided that call this course chill wind. And then in development time they decided to change it, but they forgot to change it for the free play mode or something. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? All I know is that definitely didn't look like a typo. <laughs> if you ask me. Oh, that ooh, that had a lot more curve than I had than I was anticipating there. I don't know if I can make the green in two. Well, maybe I can. I was gonna say I don't know if I can make the green in two now, but it should still make it. I think I underhit that. Yeah. Oh, that. Ooh, in the lodge's 12-yard range probably didn't help. <laughs> Just you never know what the randomizer is gonna be like. Uh, the rudder seems like it'll take this on pretty nicely because it'll it'll have that little side bounce when it lands or or not. Ooh, I don't like the situation. Oh, this could actually be the test that I remember. I said I was gonna try playing way higher than the hole, and then let the slope just trickle it down to the hole. Let's try. Uh, nope, it still rolls off. <laughs> I thought maybe, maybe it would be able to hold, but nope. Now we know. Now we know. So you really, if if you're above the hole, you're just doomed on a heavy slope green, unless you're really close to the hole. Uh, that, that does not play very well, although I did try some recovery tactics. <laughs> Next, on chill wind wastes, we have this hole, which actually might be my hole to utilize the antique clubs with, because remember it's got that really low trajectory that just keeps on rolling. So, <laughs> yup, <laughs> that's what I thought. Alright, so that means I should be able to birdie this, assuming I hit it hard enough. Yeah! Because that, that heavy slope is against me, so... Just looking at potentially being short, so I just wanted to overhit it to make sure I got it there. Uh, this one, I don't know how I'm going to play with the antique clubs. I guess I'm going to play it mega safe and all the way back there on the super chunky patch of fairway rather than bouncing it across smaller patches of fairway. But that's going to leave me a really long shot to the green. But if I can get around the green in two, I might be okay. Uh, wait, no. I want to go curve something like that, straighten it, and then utilize the fairway to bounce it over. Uh, yeah, I think that's my best bet. Let's try it! Woo! Just don't go in the snow, please! Well, that's not the snow I was thinking of, but that's that's okay snow, I guess, because we're, we're relatively close, so we can probably putt this. But can we? Let's find out. Mm, I should have tried to increase the power, I guess. I guess. Wait, what? Oh yeah, that's right, this isn't an actual green, it's just rough. I always forget about that on this one. <laughs> but uh, wait, hold on a sec, if that's not actual green and it's rough, then how is there green slope? Because remember, when, whenever you're off the green, such as at Tidy Park, even if, even if it's grass around the hole, it's still technically not green, there's still no slope. Everything is flat as a pancake. Hmm. Hmm, it's like they made an exception on that particular hole. Interesting. Don't go in the... Mm. Well, that's a par 5. <laughs> but still, when I go in the snow, I lower my chances. Alright, I'm gonna bounce it across using the fairway, hopefully. Hopefully it doesn't go too far on the landing, because remember the 16-yard range. Oh, there, that's patchy ice. Oh, I thought that, that was more fairway up there. I must be thinking of a different hole. Whoops. Oops. <laughs> well, well, let's rocket one through the tree and back to the fairway, because it's not really going to go much farther than that anyway. <laughs> mm, I could actually make this, because the wind is relatively in my face, so it's more about that side slope, you know, getting the side slope landing right. Boink. Mm, oh, that's, that ain't going to work. 
It landed way farther back. Per perhaps because I underhit it for one thing. Perhaps because of the six yard range. We may never know. Ooh, I got it though. <laughs> we made a decent recovery. Only one or a par for so far into it thus far, and that easy par three into the ice is coming up too. So, you know, with the ice all around the green. So that's probably gonna be a birdie. Although you can never be too sure in golf. Never, ever be too sure in golf. Um, there we go. Just wanna ensure that it lands just before the snow, if anything. So I don't go out of control and into the snow. Oh, jeez! <laughs> that's the issue with those sorts of patchy fairways, as I mentioned before. Well, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I see, I see opportunity again here. If since I got such a low trajectory, uh, no, the the slope of the green is pushing me away anyway. I'm still gonna end up in the snow. I was gonna say if I curve it around and aim my curve towards the hole, I could maybe bounce it over the snow and to the hole. But with that slope, it's just gonna make it go way left anyway. So. Watch my ball go in the snow, it'll be magical. Oh, that, that's not the snow I was thinking of. I thought it was going to be the snow left of the green. Mm. 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 I've got crosswind plus slope. <laughs> I'm going to do my best. Oh, dear lord. <laughs> Arceus, why? Uh... Eh, I tried my best, but still, my best is not good enough for this hole. <laughs> it never is if you're in the snow. Oh, what? I wanted that to hit the pin. You know, so, mm, well, it's, it's lodged, but, oh, oh now this, the green slope, it's going to go right off the green if I attempt to, won't it? Yep. <laughs> it's the dance once again. Uh, okay. So I guess I'm really going to have to play less aggressive, just go right below the hole and just call it a hole. Or accidentally get it in. That, that'll do too. <laughs> Fine, I'll, just, I'll chip it in when I'm not expecting to. <sighs> that, that, uh, that, yeah, anyway. So this will probably be a birdie. Although that, that's slope. That's slope. Because yeah, I don't, I don't typically have much issue with this hole. Because even if you're off the green, it doesn't make much of a difference because the ice is pretty easy to control in on itself. Uh, well, that's <laughs> not. I didn't think it would go that far right, it did. Hmm, hmm. Well, as long as I have the ice on my side, I should be able to get that in. <laughs> or not. I tried. I tried. See, technically there's no easy hole in golf, as I said. Well, at least when the conditions are like this. I don't know. <laughs> as long as I get to the ice, it should roll. Oh! Oh! Recover! <laughs> That's not the birdie that I wanted, but it's even. <laughs> I should never anticipate, I mean, I should never un underestimate a hole for any hole. Could be the hardest in the world, depending on the setup. Mm. Mm. And it should be all. Oh, I was gonna say because there was a lot of fairway there, but it kind of runs out on me as it curves the other direction. Um. Well, will that cross the snow? It may, because of that 11-yard range can work. The oh wait, oh 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 oh! It's because I was I had trees in my way. Okay, we might have something now. Just hopefully I'm not going to hit the tree that I was aiming for. Ooh, oh, 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 ooh, nice. Very nice. Yes, it's in the snow because of the heavy side slope, but still, that's pretty good results. And I don't think I can get that up there with the, just the putter. I'm going to have to go with my rudder and utilize the slope to stop that sucker. Oh, jeez, it kicked way off. I didn't think it was that well. I guess maybe uh, because I was I was thinking I was pretty pretty straight to it in in angle, so I just had to aim a little bit to the side. But now that thing kicked like crazy. Anyway, par. <laughs> Woo, two more. Three over par. 
still means that I could, potentially, maybe get under par if I eagle the next two holes. Uh, I wouldn't count on it, though. <laughs> we'll see, though. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Nice, safe play to the long fairway. And then maybe, just maybe, because of the bounciness and the, the roll of these clubs, I'm gonna actually give myself a little topspin there, maybe I can get over to the green in two. Just maybe, and the slope of the green can maybe stop it. It's not bad, I guess. Uh, now it's just a matter of maybe, just maybe, utilizing the slope to kick it into the hole. Mm, that was a little too much slope play, but I think I had the right idea. But the question is now, can I make it because I'm going downhill? Mm, no. <laughs> it's always going to accelerate too fast and hop over the hole and going downhill from that distance away. Of course it will. <laughs> eh, it's a par. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting to eagle the last two holes, but it was just a fun thought. <laughs> Hmm. 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 Now for this one. I haven't really come up with a plan for having lower distances on this one other than just making sure that I'm in the fairway. Because <laughs> remember, this is. Mm, yeah. Ooh! Because after you're in the f snow pretty much any time, or even in the rough, I guess, it could cause quite a bit of an issue on the approach with its length and all the uh, trees and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, maybe I can get away with that, because I'm going to land it in the rough. Let's try it. Oh, it didn't land in the rough at all! <laughs> I guess the 8-yard range took over that time, because the wind certainly wasn't with me there. Uh, Wait, wait, can I use the putter? Uh, no, I don't think I can use the putter. It just seems too far away, and there's snow in my way. Causing me all sorts of issues. Okay, I, I was at least staying below the hole. I didn't want to go above it. And... The moment of truth! Yeah, another par. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty steady. One birdie, two doubles. Two double bogeys, I mean. Alright! Not too shabby. Not too shabby. And with that, I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video when we play the last course in the main storyline. <laughs>